Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Diana Kemi from East Africa, Kenya. Welcome back and uh, for the returning subscribers, thank you for always coming back to watch my videos. I really do appreciate. Thank you and thank you so much and uh, wow guys there's something that i had actually promised you and i said i'll do it so you know a promise is a debt they say debt or debt yeah a promise is a debt debt yeah it's a debt actually debt so i have to do that and um for sure uh we've come from the other village which we which we were so right now we are back in Yabohanse, back in the construction site guys so i wanted to show you that that end product before we end it's actually a, an amazing product and um so far we had i'd come back to do some cleaning inside the house because there's some uh, things which we had left uh before going because the journey was abrupt so we had to go and right now we are back so um we went let me do it like this yeah we had actually finished the whole painting of the house and then from there we finished very very late we finished at at around um 19 yeah so we had finished that one and then from there we went so i couldn't feel him because we had finished late night usually when we are we agree with the person who does the work um we agree on the number of days which he has to spend here working and then if it's three days it's three days for so for the painting it was three days we had to first scrub they had to first scrub the the windows from inside and then from there also the walls since they were painting the walls they had to clean up the walls remove those things that look like bumps and then after scrubbing i put the first paint the paint which i had shown you earlier in the other video that was now the paint which they were putting and then from there again clean up to smoothen then put another paint on top but that generally is an undercoat and in any case maybe you want still to for it to remain like that you can still leave it that way but right now it's just clean you can't um wipe like this and then it comes off it's just like that so we had put an off-white off-white um undercoat so he said later if you want to add any other color you can add and um so far so good with time we will choose another color but right now i'm so much in love with the white color the white color is so good white looks um makes rooms look bigger it also brings light inside and also it looks good and classy yeah white is good but now when the kids come is when you know <laughs> it will be something else but before that maybe i'll have to put some posts on the on the walls to show people do not touch so that they be careful with the word but i don't know how for how long we like tell them not to touch because you know kids forget sometimes even uh, you know adults forget and i uh, will see with time uh, on how things will go and guys you can also give me some advice comment down at the comment section on what i should be doing so we actually finished it and i'm going to show you as i promised earlier that i'm going to show you the end of it so the end of it is actually very beautiful very nice there's no even a tiny mark on it it's actually off-white on the other video there were some markings which had been left behind since they hadn't finished it so it wasn't complete but right now the video which i'm going to show you is going to be a complete outlook of the interior not outside just interior of it so later we are going to uh, work on the ceiling he'll come back later after we've worked on the ceiling we've worked on the tiles now just finishing it up so that's why we started with the undercoat undercoat means you can um, it's, it's like the foundation of the paint you put first an undercoat then you'll decide on which colors you can put you can put blue you can put not really blue but baby blue baby blue almost looks like sky blue but it's kind of different so you can put baby blue you can put baby pink you know those kind of colors that are kind of bright others can put even yellow light green or lime green you know whichever colors that you can prefer 
but for the inside since most of the people advocated for white we are going for white yeah i love white i really love white you know white makes a place looks beautiful beautiful and guys i can't show i can't wait to show you uh what happened yeah i hadn't show you the final product of it and right away without wasting no time guys i'm going to show you so guys kindly if you haven't subscribed at diana kemi kindly consider doing so uh also thank you for always supporting me i'm really happy so here we go so i'm actually on the outside part and before that baby caro is here sharing some things she's actually kind of worried no yeah you can come and sit and you you feel you know i'm peeping through the the outside parts yeah, yeah like it's see. so cool so you know, cool and yeah, nice some um, air spaces they mm -hmm. called this you can sit here here okay. it is kind of down yeah yeah we have a small oh god it don't fall down okay you know, it's not that strong yeah okay you can see yeah it will go boom no 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 it can't go it can't yeah. go that way so guys i have my sister baby caro here mm -hmm. she's actually not saying what is happening she's actually worried a bit on uh, how she's going to finish the roofing but i told her not to worry everything mm -hmm. will fall into place yes yeah yeah don't worry everything yeah. will fall into place and put your worries and to god yeah yeah so um i'm here with my sister baby mm -hmm. caro you can also introduce yourself hello guys welcome back to diana kemi youtube channel mm -hmm. my name is baby caro and in case you haven't checked kemi out mm -hmm. kindly consider checking her for more amazing video and also progress from this beautiful house today yeah. we are coming live from the inside the interior yeah it's so cool very beautiful yeah and, and I, I remember i didn't mm -hmm. show them the end product of it and i promised Ooh. to show them the end product oh this one here yeah all so of they're the seeing house. The wow yeah you remember the first video we did only the first uh coat yeah yeah we hadn't done the video of the final yeah so here right now they actually did the first coat and mm -hmm. then cleaned it mm -hmm. and then repeated again yeah yeah so right now the house just looks white hey, right now actually um even you know i expected it when i catch like this mm -hmm. my hand to come out with some chalk I, I, I catch like this yeah. see the hand it's clean, clean. Yeah. yeah no chalk yeah like and the first coat you could touch and it some, remain on the some hand. white chalk yeah yeah so right now you can even lean like this and there's no and paint there's on no your paint. clothes yeah, yeah so and i love it it's so white mm -hmm. and right now there are no patches it has hidden those cracks those cracks yeah because i remember when they were putting the first coat they you could see some cracks you could see them but yeah. right now very clean yeah, it's so smooth it's so clean maybe just i want to come with a dirty hand and touch it it will put a mark for the hand yeah true yeah so what do you think uh we should um, mm -hmm. um make some posters um and then write do not touch mm -hmm. put them on the walls meanwhile mm -hmm. Yeah, cause uh, you know Christmas will be here, and mm -hmm. also uh, it, many people will be here, mm -hmm. including they, my they neighbors, my friends. Yeah, mm -hmm. so uh, I'm very, very sure <laughs> there will be a lot of kids. Yeah, there will be I a lot of kids. Because actually, we we decided to do this thing cause of the kids, yeah. and I'll tell you more when that day comes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So right now we haven't gone to that day yet, mm -hmm. but when that day comes, mm -hmm. guys, there's a big plan. I'm going to inform you. We are, we are actually I actually wanted this, and also we are still planning it on the way, which I'll explain for you, because mm -hmm. you know you can't. Um, they say you don't count before don't count your chicks before they are hatched before they are hatched <laughs> yes yeah. so don't really uh do like that when you haven't really planned so when will be because i like i plan first before i you know you make that big announcement because you might say it then everything don't, don't go, go that way you expect. Yeah. yeah but we expect it goes that way yeah. so we we will be doing this for the kids mm -hmm. yeah mostly it's for the kids and you know kids really love you know celebration yeah and have love some good time mm -hmm. and that will include our neighbors yeah. kids mm -hmm. 
our friends kids mm-hmm. and yeah it's no like one will be left behind a birthday yeah like there's without kids that's not a birthday mm-hmm. yeah yeah they always also make it to be so so nice yeah. so joyful there's that vibe of the kids because yeah. they are those who are even usually more happy even than us <laughs> than adults yeah because yeah. when you tell them this a celebration you'll get they have already dressed one of their best clothes like and they're, they're pushing you so early yeah and they're pushing you let's, let's go, go. Yeah, let's, let's go, go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like kids bring a very nice vibe right. yeah. yeah when you compare party for the adults and party for the kids is a bit different you know when you're a kid you're still innocent and yeah. you really appreciate mm-hmm. Mm, anything actually yeah. kids really love things yeah. and also it will be memorable because mm-hmm. it will be the first time mm-hmm. yeah most of the time we haven't really gotten that chance mm-hmm. so since it will be the first time in this house that's why we decided mm, why not make the house look better yeah. before that time yeah uh, at least it doesn't look dull you know mm-hmm. it doesn't bring that construction site vibe it mm-hmm. brings almost complete house but not complete yeah yeah because we still have a long way to go yeah. but if we'll have this kind of thing with the kids mm-hmm. i think yeah it's gonna be nice yeah, it will be nice yes yeah. and also i'm a love of kids mm-hmm. i really love kids so so much i yeah. love being around kids yes i'm an adult i know but i love <laughs> it's actually they love it. it's just nice yeah. also to have kids because yeah. they usually give you that nice company even if you are lonely they're mm-hmm. usually playful like they bring warmth inside the like, house Yeah, yeah at least even if a kid goes astray at least you have to speak like you, you can't just keep quiet like it will make you be also talkative yeah because you won't be silent <laughs> if you see her do something you must shout hey, don't, don't do there. that yeah <laughs> like okay like and like when you are alone yeah. you just stay like this like Lonely. you get bored yeah. yeah you know kids also makes you talk because mm-hmm. uh, even if you are quiet they'll still make you to talk cuz uh, you know they ask questions so they do something wrong you have to shout a bit yeah. don't do that so yeah. you'll have to <laughs> sometimes even you quarrel yeah. but again when they are not there you feel lonely again yeah yes. or maybe if uh, let's say maybe you have kids mm-hmm. and they are playing maybe you are shouting please don't do that you mm-hmm. destroy that one as you you make a lot of this until you feel <laughs> eh i'm now tired mm-hmm. then all of a sudden you just find the place is silent yeah. you just know something very bad has happened yeah when a kid is quiet yeah. there is something wrong happening which is okay <laughs> because when you go there you'll find they have really messed that place <laughs> so at least when you hear that noise yeah it shows know, they are active with something good yeah, yeah. but when they go silent eh, something bad <laughs> is really happening maybe they've taken a whole uh, white paint and yeah. poured it on the or maybe they have taken the mud and they are playing <laughs> on the wall so drawing <laughs> yeah so you'll get them they are quiet mm-hmm. so when you come there uh, they'll also be afraid because they know they have really done something bad so they'll be also afraid even when you quarrel they'll just stare at you mm-hmm. yeah yeah that's the innocent true. eyes you of can't, you, saying please don't beat me yeah well, you can't even uh, you know beat them yeah. i don't know why <laughs> you feel like you that. can't beat them you feel for them yeah pity yeah 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 actually yeah yeah so guys uh, right away mm-hmm. yeah uh, i'm going to show you on the things that have happened mm-hmm. and then from there you can come also comment down in the comment section mm-hmm. uh, the ideas and uh, how do you see mm-hmm. yeah and um did you do the right thing yeah, yeah. but uh, i i know you are going to give us nice advices and also yeah. all opinions are welcomed yeah. yeah so guys back 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 to the site so here we are and i'm going to show you things that have happened around right around. now the room is so bright so relaxing so bright. i'm just hearing the ga- uh, the birds chirping yeah. and sometimes they come near the windows they peck they start pecking yeah. the windows mm-hmm. and uh, you know they love they love actually being near the windows yeah. you know from inside you can see them clearly but they can't see you so uh, when they are on the window they think they are not being seen yeah they think they are alone they are alone they don't love being 
near people. Mm-hmm. I think they kind of fear. Yeah, yeah, they fear because actually. when even you went, you want to catch them like these, they, run. they fly in seconds. Yeah. You can't catch them. You can't catch them. Yeah, so maybe I think when they come here, they think there's no one around. Yeah, I think so, they just fear. They fear people. Yeah, yeah. But when you are, you know, like right now, they enjoy. They are mm-hmm. enjoying actually. Sometimes they bring seeds and to drop them on the windows. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, I love, <laughs> I love the way it's natural because yeah. uh, it's nice seeing them at a close angle. Yeah. Rather than when they are, you, you know, when they see you, they tend to run away. They run. Yeah, but when they are uh, far, mm-hmm. like there's another one, cheeky one pecking. I can hear something pecking on the other window. Yeah, you can hear it. Yeah, you hear? That's a it's bad. It's pecking. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'll be showing you on progress so mm-hmm. first we start from here wow so here we have so my guys don't mind about the ladder which is here these things we are going to clean them up mm-hmm. tomorrow yeah. yeah with the help of a a, a good handman yeah <laughs> yeah handman because there's some things inside that are heavy to carry yeah so i was waiting first they finish painting so that i can return them into their places you know and they painted they disrupted some of the things which we had organized inside yeah. so uh we are going to reorganize them and then place them back sweep well so if you're going to sweep with this white paint we are going to pour lots of water to avoid that dust from coming up and uh at the end of the day, again, we are going to repeat doing the paint because yeah. this is an undercut of it. Yeah. But everything looks very, very great. Yeah, it's so white. Yeah. You know, someone can think this is the final. Yeah. Yeah. How do you think? It's just smooth. smooth. Yeah. They actually repeated scrubbing and then repeated the paint. Yeah. So this, guys, is from the veranda. This is the veranda part open one you can view from the outside and the view from outside is so cool i can feel the birds just chipping and this place is so serene so quiet very very quiet yeah yeah so they've actually cleaned this part i can just feel it's just very smooth and then from the inside we put a black paint so here there is some black paint so they repeat again the black yeah wow. they repeated it mm-hmm. so right now it looks uh, much clear also now this is the final uh so they repeat again yes they'll they'll repeat again on this the final uh, i think the black this is the final wow yeah but it's nice. this is the final it was gray but right now it's, it's black it's black maybe yeah. they'll just repeat in case we add something on top mm-hmm. but this will be the final from inside yeah outside maybe we'll see if we can put white white yeah like this one here yeah wow yeah so this is just in the inside mm-hmm. yeah wow. so the window looks wow looks vibrant it's so big yeah it's so spacious so spacious yeah because yeah. there are like three three windows yeah it's actually no four, four. Yes. a one two three and then a fourth yeah. one it's five <laughs> <laughs> and then the other one but that one is for the living room and six yeah <laughs> now that one is when we go to the inside no not this one yeah 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 and the door no that's a donut a window <laughs> <laughs> not like that i was meaning yeah where the air pass like inside like left the air inside yeah yeah so guys this is the veranda part and then he moved towards the side this side they painted nicely mm-hmm. it's actually very smooth the door was painted black i wanted it to be black so black and white on the inside black and, and white. yeah and it looks nice very smooth yeah it's smooth i can't compare with how it was on the first video yeah yeah, yeah it's so meaning smooth. from the outside when they paint it it will be like this uh or no. it will be kind of rough it's rough because they plastered roughly okay so this one is just for the inside mm-hmm. so the inside is much more smooth wow. yeah you know outside you if you say you put uh, also smooth you'll use lots of cement yeah yeah wow. so this one is just for the for the inside yeah. and i can say it looks beautiful so 
I'm going to open here, guys. The interior. The interior, guys. And guys, please uh, don't be surprised. There's still some, <laughs> some, um, some things here. Yeah. Yeah, but it's understandable because the house construction going on. Yeah. Yeah. So tomorrow we said we'll do the cleaning since we left hurriedly. Yeah. So today, let me show you just the outcome of it, and then tomorrow you are going to clean up. And then, yeah, everything step by step. So here is now on the insides. And also the inside, I suggested the dark color. So they put the dark color there. Yeah. Yeah. That's so nice. So nice. Mm -hmm. It's almost look like a complete house. Yeah. But it's not, it's not complete, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is the living room area. Like this, all of it. Here is the sitting room with the two windows yeah yeah also here very smooth very nice wow i just love the outcome of it so all these things we had placed them on one room and you are going to remove them and place it after cleaning you're going to place it again organize it in another room because the painters displaced some of the things yeah yeah yes so on this wall here it actually looks like this what do you think it's so nice yeah. and that's the place for the sockets yeah it's so nice mm -hmm. and for me i love it yeah and i think also the muscles they brought them inside so that they could also paint on the other side yeah this was on one room the first yeah. bedroom yeah they yeah there. so i think they transferred it mm -hmm. so that they could paint mm -hmm. because right now i'm very sure if maybe you return them they'll put a scratch yeah, yeah. or some dust and everything yeah. so i want to clean first before mm -hmm. i place them back yeah yeah so we actually finished this all uh, late at night actually by the time we are coming back i was so tired i was so exhausted so um we finished up and then decided when we come back we are going to fix everything so right now i'm going to first open the door yeah so i was showing on this side so this side they've, re they've already done with the painting and i think it looks much more white after it has dried after they've repeated making the paint and the house looks great guys all i can say the house looks great and also the lighting at least right now it has some light it doesn't look dark i can still see the new shape the new look of the house wow it looks nice so this side they had put it just they painted just once like this and wow it looks more smooth more nice even on this decker, very beautiful, very nice. Wow. So, yeah, it looks nice actually. Can't complain. So, on this side, there is, is now the dining, the dining part. And the dining part, initially, there was so much darkness. But right now, I feel there is enough light. So, the dining and the sitting room, combined together, they are they have enough space they are big enough so wow this one looks so great looks so nice so this countertop they'll have to put some some tiles so that's why it's left out this way so this one when they'll come back to put tiles we can maybe put ah uh, there was some suggestion they wanted us to put a black countertop yeah that really sounds good because uh you know when it's black it's easy to clean it doesn't really show so much that so i think that's a good idea there can be a black countertop here yeah black because if you put white or cream it won't really match with the environment but at least it can match with the color of the window black yeah black here black here black they can do nicely and also black yeah black is great it won't get dirty so easily it will still look uh, neat yeah black goes nicely so here on the countertop we'll have to put black yeah black will look great yeah so 
after here maybe i can show you the kitchen the kitchen part here is the kitchen the kitchen also they did a halfway and this is the end product of it also it looks very neat very clean and wow i love everything that is here wow so all this you are going to do some cleanup there were some buckets which we made here we actually left in the evening so uh, like these buckets this one and this one we are going to clean up and then these ones we won't throw them away we will leave them for mass ones to be mixing some of the things and then for this one we can even wash it up because this one is an empty one these are all empty so these ones you are going to this one they put actually a brush inside to soak it so that maybe it can uh, remove the color off so this one i'm going to pour this water and then put another one rinse those brushes and then yeah yeah so i have lots of cleaning up to do uh, tomorrow tomorrow i'll do the cleaning so we'll have lots of work to do around so the other two buckets we can wash it and uh, you can just uh, make a home use of it but uh, for these ones these other two we can just leave them for the mass ones to be mixing things instead you know sometimes they take basins mix mix and uh, leave them in a funny way so maybe i'll have to leave these ones for them to use i don't want them again to make my basins <laughs> you know you know once you you use it in construction it just become dirty that way and uh, washing and you know putting it it's it's another task you so i'll have to do that way yeah so this is for the kitchen part and yeah kitchen looks great so when you come to clean up and uh, leave a clear space for the next thing i think it will look great and then on the veranda the kitchen veranda here it looks also very amazing and very bright I love everything, everything here. Everything has been done nicely and well detailed. So this is for the um, for the for the veranda part. So the rest of the things that are remaining about the paint will have to come back later. Not actually right now. We'll come back later when you are coming to finish up with everything. So guys, I'm really happy. At least right now, even I can see up to that corner, up to that corner just clearly because there is enough light. And uh, wow. So on this side, um, here there is something like a corridor. A corridor and I love it dome shaped this way so when it's this way i feel wow so there's nice spacing in between here and baby car is peeping on the other side actually i was peeping <laughs> at the bus but they are yeah. gone yeah you know i was leaning like this and looking at them yeah so they were just peeking here but they can't see me mm -hmm. i was trying to put the hand like this but they can't see me mm -hmm. yeah and they actually enjoy doing that and i think if you just do the window like this mm -hmm. like when you just open it like this even if they just hear this sound they, they, all, <laughs> they fly away they are so sensitive they can they can feel that there's something yeah. if there's a, any movement if they feel any movement yeah but i love them the way they always you know play around these markings are from them yeah yeah they usually make markings and they've kind of also made some scratches yeah actually yes. but they are wipeable oh you yeah see? yeah it's not permanent no it's not permanent okay yeah so you just leave them to play yeah <laughs> yeah we made a mirror for them you know actually they usually imagine there is another bird they are fighting inside they are fighting so the the window mm -hmm. has that reflection yeah yeah like a mirror so they see another bird so that's why they try to peck it's like they're fighting another bird yeah, yeah. i usually hear even some can end up dying what like when it flies with a force from there mm -hmm. it comes like like this it because, can die yeah because it sees like it's another bird yeah or maybe there's free space yeah to pass through like this oh yeah that's 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 quite sad yeah yeah wow so 
I was showing them on the this side. Mm -hmm. The master bedroom. The master bedroom. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can open it. Too. You know, the more you open, the more even light, light. comes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So. But I think the light is making it bright because before it was kind of dark. It was totally dark actually. Yeah. Totally dark. Mm -hmm. All of this was totally dark. Yeah. But right now, wow, it looks. It looks neat. Yeah. Yeah. And I can imagine we haven't even finished it. It's just the the, the undercoat of it. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe later they put the tiles and everything. And the ceiling, it will look nice. We, we didn't want to put so much on it because we are going to come back. Mm -hmm. And then they'll correct the spaces left by um, with the ceiling. And if you're putting gypsum, they have to repeat this paint. Yeah. on on the ceiling so we still have a journey to go but before tiles we have to deal with the ceiling and then tiles yeah. and then repaint it last yeah sure. yeah, yeah so the washroom mm -hmm. so this washroom was left this way because we'll put tiles later yeah yeah so and it's also rough for mm -hmm. the tiles yeah rough for the tiles it's yeah. not smooth mm -hmm. So here, when they'll fix the tiles, they they won't have much job. Yeah. And uh, we'll prefer white tiles. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Me for me, I prefer um, white. Yeah, white. Yeah. But some they usually put blue in bathroom. They yeah. prefer white. I love white because white, yeah, white will match also with the with the other rooms. Mm -hmm. Maybe but the but other but one. White is a bright color. It makes it attractive. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, others love that blue, which you say that ocean blue, mm -hmm. but uh, for for here, I think white. white. Yeah, those that one that white which has small box box. Yeah, yeah, that one, too much. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, the good thing this one is frosted grass. Yeah, this glass grass. Glass. No one can see you from the outside. Yeah, even you, you can't see them. Yeah, unless maybe you open the window. Yeah, yeah. So there's enough privacy. Yeah, from the inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So from there, we can show you this side. This side. So we are done with the dining and the sitting room. Back to this. Wow, I love everything here. Just Even see. this decoration here. Very nice. Let us see. It's carved like. Yeah. So nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It looks so great. From these parts, mm -hmm. uh, these things that looks like pillars. And it's smooth. It's very smooth right yeah. now. It's very smooth. And wow, I just love it. Even me, I just love it. <laughs> These muscles were so creative. Yeah. Yeah. And they tried to make it smooth. You tried cutting here. Where? This, this corner. Oh yeah, this this side I actually told them to repeat it so that oh. it doesn't have bumps. Hey, it's so it's so nice. It's so nice. Yeah, you just feel like doing like this. <laughs> and you smooth. know it's curved. Yeah. Yeah. And wow. Well, just smooth yeah yeah so from here you can see up to that point and yeah. before it was dark it was dark yeah yeah so i think white white white, white is a good color white white is beautiful <laughs> yeah so the first bedroom here this is where those things were so we are going to clean here and we are going to use a lot of water to avoid dust uh, settling on the wall so much dust mm -hmm. i know there will be some dust yeah but we'll avoid them uh, by putting lots of water when you're cleaning you're going to put lots and lots of water and you're sweeping around yeah. so, so to avoid that find the wall mm -hmm. yeah 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 so we'll put more more of it and then from there we remove those things reorganize them at one point mm -hmm. and then yeah the home we look organized yeah. so even if they'll come to the other parts at least there'll be clean space for working yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, so from there, the washroom here. So this washroom, I wanted it to be a different color, but I think I'll still go for white. Yeah, white, white is a bright color. It's yeah. a good one. Yeah. And attractive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll go for white. So this is for the 
second bedroom also done and dusted and yeah so for this window i'm not going to open it and um yeah because you know we have to reclose it again but there's still some light inside so i think there's no need but it looks great yeah it looks great from here it looks beautiful so this is it for the whole rooms we've done and dusted so this was the final look of it and all i can say the work done is nice from the very fast on on that side on the veranda to the inside and later we are still working on it so yeah it's a good it's a good look it's a beautiful look from here guys up to the inside i can see there is nice work done really beautiful wow wow this is so great so this is it for the house and then when we come back to the ceiling i'll be updating you when we come back to the tilings also i'll be updating you on how things are going to change and uh, so far so good wow i love i love where we've come love where we've come to well so guys i think i'll be ending my video right uh, right away and then i'll start organizing the few things that i can manage and then from there i can call someone to help me carry the heavy heavy load because there is some things that are so big that we can't we can't do it with baby carol alone so We'll do other things tomorrow, but meanwhile, I'm going to reorganize some of the few things, uh, clean up the area, and then tomorrow we're going to have a better place after working. Yeah, so guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoy this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate and I love you so, so much, guys. If you haven't subscribed at Diana Kemi, kindly do so, and also at Bibi Caro, kindly do so. She has been called um right now but she's coming back uh, kindly also check her out and i love you so, so much guys big love and bye bye see you soon so guys right away i was actually sitting here and i noticed my plant you know i watered it before i went but right now it's dried so let me put some water just a bit of it not so much just a bit so that it's not dry like this yeah i don't want to put so much so that it can it can kill it just a bit of it yeah i'd actually watered it before i went but right now i can i think it's used to the whole water and also when the sun shines it tends to dry it up
they've really grown nicely and wow this is so beautiful there's so many which have flowered and then there's this one which almost look like the other one but this one has the yellow leaves the other one has a red one but this one has yellow wow and it looks bright so this one is the one which i've put them on the pot and i hope they'll grow into these nice beautiful flowers wow so with the time i'm going to look for a place where i can i can plant flowers because i want this place to look um like a garden yeah so guys i went to bring the the, the basin so that i can water them since my water can uh, someone borrowed me but brought it back when it was broken yeah so um, i'm going to use this first and later i'm going to bring a water can but this time i'm going to bring a plastic one since i realized the metallic water can breaks easily and also uh, it rusts so the plastic one plastic one is kind of tough and it doesn't really come off uh, quickly so we are going to use this basin with baby caro actually yeah. we are going to water the plants because uh, i realized since for like three days since, yeah, we went. since we went because the place looks so dry yeah like here we left it when it was kind of wet because it used to rain every day every day like every, every afternoon uh the weather changes yeah. it's darker but right now it seems for the past three days i think yeah because the ground changed. looks dry completely yeah so we are going to water some of our plants mm -hmm. so that they don't remain um dry that way for so long yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah have a tap nearby yeah because if you could have you could have gone to the to the bowl hey, okay. right now oh, that's taken some time yeah so start with this biscuit so we're pouring enough and water and then this one see for that mm -hmm. this one here oh let's spray that yeah This one was replanted mm. here, so I Maybe hope it, it doesn't interfered dry up with the roots. Uh, okay, not really, mm -hmm. but I think it, the rainfall. Maybe we can give it time. Mm -hmm. you, know? you never know how it will do. Yeah, yeah, but it will come out nicely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Even I don't know this one. I've <laughs> never seen it. Also, me, I, I not really saw them, right? mm -hmm. but they. Okay. No, Joseph Scott. Joseph Scott. A rainbow coat. Mm. The Joseph for the Bible. Yeah. I don't remember it. Yeah. Yeah. The one which but it, his brothers took. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 they yeah, yeah. Of him. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So actually the plant's name is Colias, mm -hmm. but in Jamaica mm -hmm. they call it Joseph Scott. I think it was this one which the people are referring to. So this one. one history, that's why they, they are calling it that name. Yeah, Joseph Scott. Mm. Yeah. Oh, there are two types. Yeah. Oh. There's this one. It's beautiful. Yeah. So it's like uh, it has so many colors. Oh. There's maroon. There's yeah. yellow. Yeah. There's uh, which color again? Yeah. There's this one, and there's another beautiful one which I'll show you. Mm -hmm. This one. This one here. Yeah. yeah. You see the color? Wow. Okay, yeah. Joseph Scott. Joseph Scott. In Jamaica, they call it Joseph Scott. Oh, and yeah. it's so soft. It nice. uh, resembles the one for the tissue paper. Yeah, and the lifespan is not really long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it dies off quickly. This one? Yeah. Uh, yeah, but it, it leaves yeah, it's behind. It's beautiful. This one is beautiful even then. The this other one. one. Yeah. Because it has several colors. Mm -hmm. you see? Yeah. yeah. So this one is Colias or Joseph Scott. Oh. Yeah, actually, didn't know, but someone someone taught me oh yeah. yeah it's so soft very nice yeah you can think someone brought a pen and decorated it <laughs> <laughs> and those colors just come up naturally yeah you know so nice. yeah this beauty <laughs> Mm 
imagine when they, they grow, grow up then they bring that yellow flower they look nice here yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They look nice. but for these ones uh, they are temporary i wouldn't want them to grow here so much mm -hmm. i just planted them for to prevent snakes oh, yeah, yeah just to prevent snakes but i'll remove them later mm -hmm. when they'll come to uh, do the landscape of the house you know they'll have to pull up some of the things yeah. but for the for the other plants which we had put a line on it mm -hmm. that one they leave it mm -hmm. yeah like this one here yeah they this in it. front they'll just actually leave it mm -hmm. yeah now this one i'm seeing they are in one row yeah very yeah. neat mm -hmm. so this one was replanted just recently so these ones i wanted them to catch up first mm -hmm. before i weed them yeah, these ones guys. Yeah, they're so ones. tiny. They're tiny. So actually. this one, you know, if you couldn't put this rock, mm -hmm. someone can't know there is a something planted here. Yeah. But right now, at least you can see there's something. There's yeah. something. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I hope the rains come soon. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> we were used to the rainfalls. And January is coming. Coming. January now is the worst. The worst. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we hope it will rain yeah. because it's still December. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we'll be doing this way until we reach up there. Mm -hmm. yeah. How is this one called? I oh, know that one's a weed. That one even you can pull it. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, so let's pour some of the water round, 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 guys. And then from there, I'll update you what will be happening, guys.